what we also are gonna show you is all there is to know about Tattered Tulip. Yes. I cannot be more proud of this local company yeah. because when we asked somebody to come in and help us with our yeah. set, we said, oh my goodness, <gasps> it is Hi, Lisa. not a small thing to ask. Because if you were to ask me to decorate a set, I would say, high anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> it is just not yeah. my forte. But Lisa Miles, yeah. owner of Tattered Tulip, you came out and did a beautiful job, so it thank you. It was all my pleasure. I enjoyed it. Yeah, so tell us about what goes into doing something like that. Where do you find the inspiration when you have a palette such as an empty set to decorate? Well, um, you know what? I, it just comes from within. I just mm -hmm. I look at the, the area and I say, well, I think this is where we're going to go. And, and that's after, you know, getting a feel for what you were looking for right. so that's the most important thing. well i think what we did is we looked at your store and said my goodness how beautiful we'll take that <laughs> can you we'll do take all that. this yeah. for us <laughs> But Absolutely. helping to support local is big for AM Buffalo. Yeah. So being able to showcase what you do is really important. We've talked to so many small businesses, right, Mercedes, yeah, yeah. over the se past several months, if not years, about how difficult it's been. So being able to do this for you, to kind of get yourself out there. Tell us about what Tattered Tulip really is about. You know what? We are just local, homegrown, family-run, um, just, you know, here in Western New York, trying to please everybody and get their homes all yeah. looking beautiful. And How did you get your start though? Where Did you just wake up one day and say, <laughs> hmm, I think I want to. Where did it come from? Um, so I did it for fun on the side and I did a lot of my friends' houses and family and then I started doing, um, getting a little bit busy uh, doing corporate things, mm -hmm. doctors, lawyers, restaurants. And I was working in big corporate and decided um, I'm going to make a change, turn 40, and I'm going to do what I love. And this you. is what I love. And I haven't looked back since. Oh, my goodness. And I'm way more than 40 now. <laughs> <laughs> a little tidbit on Lisa, which we found out before we actually started the show. You used to be a trainer. You said you've changed gears oh, many yeah. times, right? But you all, used all to the... train seals and dolphins. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Emily got so excited I when did. she learned this. <laughs> yes. The excitement. Yeah. Yeah. But it just shows the the ability to pivot during tough sure. times yeah. and being able to change gears when you need to and yeah. following your dreams because yeah. you love this. I can see the passion just walking through the aisles here. Absolutely. It's what I love doing and and you know there comes a point in your life where you just say you know what, darn it, I'm going to do what I want and, and enjoy the rest of my life doing it. So. And three locations. You love it so much. Three locations. <laughs> and none of them are alike. Talk about that. Cause I, that's cool. I had to be a little loco doing the third at my age, but um, I did. Uh, we started in the barn, and it was um, just a little barn. Uh, we started with mostly antiques. I bought the business from a previous owner. So she had ran it for 14 years. It gave me a jump start with a good clientele. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did a big addition on the barn. Then COVID hit. Oh, yes. And um, this was going to, the mercantile was going to be our event center because mm -hmm. our events became too large for the barn. And I was just going to hold events here. And then because of COVID, we had to, when we were, opening back up we had to social distance every six yeah. feet mm. well the barn that would enable me to have like eight customers in line at a time not a good thing so i said we're gonna do this we are gonna turn this into a store and we made it work and oh, yeah so. so we are in lockport right now tell everyone your location so that they can find you sure, sure. Um, our barn is at 4090 Lake Avenue, um, which is on Route 78. Mm -hmm. um, we This mercantile is in Wright's Corners, yep. um, right in the Tim Hortons shopping plaza. Super easy to find, yes. It really mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. um, we're right at the corner of 78 and 104. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. awesome. Well, you know what? We're going to talk to you even more because we're going to oh, go yeah. shopping. Awesome. <laughs> and I'm you're going to help yes. us because yeah. I am not good well, at decorating my home, which is why we need <laughs> professional help, right?